make a mess there. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, let me pin my comment. Sorry, guys. So that y'all know what we're talking about. Okay. Hi, guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my IG Live. My name is Sibia Nomtandazo, and as you guys know, this is for my YouTube channel, and the name of my channel is called The Mentorship Corner. So this month, we are having our August edition where we have conversations with amazing women across all the cultures, all the races, and basically across anything that they do, basically. They share their opinion and they share their knowledge to help us grow, be inspired, stay motivated, and to be better together. On today's live, I am hosting the amazing Miss Lyra. She is going to have a conversation with us around dating and marriage. So without even wasting any time, I'm going to add her onto the live. Um, the most important thing is... Um, Guys, you are more than welcome to add your comments. But if you do have questions, please drop them on the question section of the live so that I'm not running through all the comments to try and you know, get the questions. In the meantime, let us add in Miss Lyra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, Nunti. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm good, good. I'm good, good. Okay, so I'm going to need you to sit slightly back yeah, so that we can see your full face. Just slightly. Right. There you go. I That's perfect. Know. Yes. Okay. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. okay, so I've done a quick introduction in terms of what we're going to be talking about, but I didn't do a full introduction of yourself. So I'm going to give you like a minute or two just to introduce you, full name and surname, maybe your age, and then a few things you would like to share with my viewers before we begin. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Uh, hello, guys, welcome, uh, and happy Women's Day. To all the ladies that are joined live on, with us right now on, on, on Instagram and everyone mm -hmm. else, whether you are here or you're not here, happy Women's Day to you. So this is just an, a brief introduction about myself. Uh, my name is Lira, Lira Nlovu. I'm about 27, or oh, I'm turning 27 next month on the mm -hmm. 8th of September. And uh, I am engaged to be married next month on the 4th of September. And yes. yeah, I'm a professional <laughs> sales representative at Master Movers. Basically, that's what I do as in like my career and all that. And I'm also a mm -hmm. businesswoman. I'm doing some online selling on, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, on one platform. It's more like your eBay, Amazon, and take a lot. Um, and yeah, I'm all about, uh, I'm a Christian. I'll never hide that from yeah. you. I'm a Christian. Yes. I love God. And yeah, basically, that's me. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. How amazing is that? So your birthday is next month and you're getting married next week. Girl, isn't that yes. every girl's dream? <laughs> oh, it is. I'm isn't telling you, that amazing. every girl's dream? That's amazing. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. amazing. Okay. Um, okay, let's just jump into the, the, the questions. So remember I said... Um, Every interview, we treat it as a conversation. Um, you guys are more yes. than welcome to join in in the conversation. But if you've got any questions, please kindly just leave them on the question section so that we're not going through all the comments to try and get all your questions, right? So the first thing we're going to talk about is let's just talk about dating, right? So in your opinion, um, I want you to just briefly explain to me um, why do women date? Do we do we date? I actually wrote this down because I'm like, there's just so many things that came up when I came up with that question. I'm like, do we date for security? Do we date for love? Do we date for wanting to build a family, wanting to get married, um, for safety, companionship, or is there something else that women are just searching for when they think about, hey, I need to start dating, I need to find a partner? Okay, so. One thing that I would like to say and put it out there, guys, is yes, we are all women, but at the same time, mm -hmm. we are all different. And yes. things happen in our lives in a different way. So to mm. some of, okay, basically with me, I never, I never dated. Uh, I started dating when I was 21 years old. 
and at mm -hmm. that time i just felt like i needed a friend and not really a, a, a woman friend or lady friend i needed the opposite mm -hmm. sex like, yes. like a guy that's why i started mm -hmm. dating for some reason i just felt like i needed that in my life at that particular age in my life i thought maybe yes. i i think it goes with with age as well as you as you grow up and as you are just growing as a woman i think there is a time mm. whereby you feel like you, you are attracted to the opposite sex so you end up yes. finding it easy for you to engage with them maybe as a friend or as dating but uh people yes. in general date for different reasons we people date yes. for different reasons and uh i would mm. say to you on a personal level I started dating. I was just going through a lot of things in my life, and then when I got that male friend, um, I just needed someone to keep me. I don't know, but affection as well plays a role. Mm. So he was there for yes. me, and in a different way. Not that I didn't have a lady friend that I was talking to, mm. but I, he was just there. So again, we are just going yes. to this. People date for different reasons. Some it for can be for fun. Reasons. Some it can be for friendship. Yes. So it just depends. Differ from one person to the other. But do you think as women, do we have something maybe that's common throughout um, females, for it, perhaps? I feel like as women, one thing that we can have in common is affection. Women love mm. attention. And when I mean attention, yes. it's not me, Lira, giving Nomti attention. There's just this kind mm. and special attention that you need from the opposite sex. Yes. I don't know how, but women need attention that i can i can guarantee <laughs> got you got you got you okay um so we'll move to the next part um look this part is talking about the fact that um we live in a generation so the, i think we had like the the generation before the millennials and then we had the millennials and yes. now we are like the generation the z generation right and yes. what i'm what i'm the 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 common comment i'm getting from guys is that um women now are more materialistic you know we are more we are a more materialistic um generation do you think that's true do you think women just date because well we need we want someone to give us money we want someone to take you on a vacation we want someone to i don't know spoil you and whatever whatever do you think that's the are we a materialistic generation and if so why do you think so okay so what I will say is this, uh, before we can, we can talk about me being materialistic or not, let's mm -hmm. not lie that this generation is different. We are evolving. We are growing. And yes. if you talk about dating, I'm talking to my older sisters, and if I'm talking about dating about myself, we, are da we dated in, in, in different generations. And things are, are changing instantly, drastically for this generation yes. to be specific. Yes. So yes. I may not say... Uh, we are materialistic. Yes, that, mm. I'm going to bring that part, that part in, but uh, I wouldn't say we are materialistic, but it's just one person who, who, who got in a relationship and they got a car, they got money, they got everything. So mm. when other people, it depends how influential you are. People do copy. Uh, as ah, much as I don't want to say it, people, as much as I want to say it, people take mm. from other people. So it's, yes. it's more like a trend. One person yes. studied it and then it roams like a fire. So we really don't understand what we want in relationships right now in this generation. That's why mm. we end up pursuing money. If there's no money, we cut off. There's no relationship. If there's no, if there's no cause, uh, there's no relationship. If it, there's no person, if there's no, no one who's benefiting anything that is materialistic, materialistic then we say there's no relationship. Yeah. It's also the times that we're living in. Let's not yes. ignore it. It's, you talk to a six, seven year old boy, you give them 10 grants, they'll tell you that it doesn't buy. It's not because this money doesn't buy, but it's just how it is now. It's the generation we are living into. Money mm. is speaking, things are speaking. So we are just surrounded with that, with that, with that living, with that system that it's already there. So it's, it, again, it comes back to the individual. Why are you getting, yes. why are you going in a relationship? Are you going yes. in a relationship because of money? Are you going in a relationship mm. because you need a car? Are you going mm. in a relationship because you want to move from Soweto and stay in Santin? So it, it all depends. In now it all depends. Yes. But yes, yes, we have ladies who are so very materialistic. Like I mean, mm. I've, I've engaged with a lot of people. I've worked in so many places. And at mm. one place, there's a lady who told me that if there's no guy who's going to come to me with a car and say, you know what, Lira, let me date you. I'm not going to date. 
So that's when I realized that it plays a big role. What big role in this generation, man. what you have. Yes. yes. So it yes. does speak, yes. It does speak, yes. But I love I love what you said about it started with someone and then it became a trend. And I think that's what most people are seeing. So a certain couple will do a certain thing a certain way and then all of a sudden yeah. you guys think because you all are in this generation as well that as a couple that's also going to work for you. Which as you're saying it may not work because we date for different reasons. We want marriage for different reasons and obviously yeah. we're not all the same we're different yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's that's quite deep. That's quite deep. Um <laughs> and it's so it's so true. It's so true. And I think we also live in a world of influence where social media plays a very um big very role in so terms of how you see life um from a relationship perspective so and a marriage perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Um let's move to the next question. So I want to talk about responsibilities in a relationship. So this can be um either as a dating couple who maybe stays together or not or as a married couple. Um do you believe that um shared responsibilities is is important in a relationship? All right. So I'll just put this in a two way First, when, okay. when, when you guys, I don't know, maybe you call it uh, dating or courtship, and then I will call it marriage when you guys are married. So firstly, okay. in, uh, I will say with, with my life, with myself, uh, yes, in my courtship with my, with my fiancé, uh, mm-hmm. we did share a lot of things, but uh, when it came to rental, okay, we don't have a child, I don't have a child, he doesn't have. So yes. there's, no, uh, there's no other third party that is coming into the world that needs to be taken care of. But mm-hmm. when it comes to our immediate things, uh, everyone else was seeing, was sorting that for themselves. Unless if they communicate and say, Lira, this month, please help me with this. And then unless yes. it's our birthdays or if there's anything that we're celebrating. So there was basically nothing more on that commitment. There was nothing. It was just out of your heart saying that, let me just pull my guy. Let me just do this. But if I'm running short of something, I can ask him, guy, can you please help me with this? And then he comes into place. Uh, yes. And then I'll just realize, I'll, I'll also elaborate in the relationship when you guys are married or staying together. Then, mm-hmm. uh, then I can say, yes, we need to share responsibilities. If someone is paying rent, let someone do the groceries. If someone doing good groceries, let someone pay the rent. Because at the end of the day, uh, women, I'll never like this. I'll never like. It's, it's, it, there's a greater chance for women to get jobs than guys. That's what I can say. So some of mm-hmm. our brothers are struggling. So imagine mm-hmm. you're married and then your guy lost a job or he's in the process of looking for a job. And I'm here, I'm mm-hmm. stable, I'm fine, I'm working. So at the end of the day, I'll need to cover whatever needs to be covered and then we can settle yeah. it at a later stage. But yes, we need to share responsibilities. Yes, got you, got you. Um, I want to talk a little bit about um, your date nights, your vacations. Um, I, whether you guys are dating or married, you'll still need to do date nights. You'll still need to do maybe like a weekend away and type of thing. Do you, do you believe that it is important that you guys either split the bill or the other person pays this time and the other person pays the next time? All right, so we talk about it. Again, couples are different. It just depends mm. on the level yes. of you guys are communicating. Uh, sometimes I can mm. say, okay, guy, let's go to to, to, to Mpumalanga and uh, the bill is mm. on me. I will pay for everything. And I'll be like, oh, no, babe, I can take off transport. I can take off food. And I'll be like, no, but I got everything covered. covered. So it all begins mm-hmm. with uh, communication. Mm-hmm. How are you communicating yes. with your guy or with your woman? Yes. So if... This yes. one time I've never shared a bill with my guy when we go to a restaurant and it's like pay half, I pay half. No, it never happens like that. We always plan, uh, we are going on a date on Friday, so he's going to pick the bill. And the guy will say, Okay, I'll pick. And then me, I'll be like, Oh, you can't do everything for yourself. Let me actually, okay, do the petrol, do the transport, and make sure that everything is in place. So yes. when, when you initiate, yeah, when you initiate a date, most of the time it's the person initiating a date who pays. But if you have, mm-hmm. you if you have sense, I mean, you can't say someone can fly you to Cape Town and you don't pay nothing at all. So it all will come back to communication. How are you communicating yes. with your partner? So, yes, it, it mm. just becomes... And talk about these things. Don't just wake up and go on a date. No. You talk, you discuss. Okay, if you're doing you this, plan. I do this. If you're doing this, I do this. Yes. You plan. Love yeah. that. Yes. I love that. I love the fact that you're centering everything around communication because they need to know what they're getting themselves into. Regardless of whether you guys are in the courtship stage or married, 
I mean, yes. if you guys are going on yeah. a date, they need to know, okay, fine, who's taking care of the bill, who's not, yes. um, who's doing what, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's doing that. And because yes. I think and that. yes. And just to add on that, that's where we avoid mm -hmm. this this I've had funny stories whereby a girl takes a a, 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 a a guy takes a girl on a restaurant and then they eat and then there's a two thousand bill that needs to be paid and the guy disappears. You guys never spoke about it. So sometimes just exactly. avoid heartaches and heartbreaks. Talk about it before, even if he's a new guy. Yeah. Talk, call him. Mm. I, what, what are we gonna do? Uh, how much do you want to spend all day? Uh, I have a one thousand rent budget, and then you can know that you can go to Spurs and then just get something that is within that money. So it yeah. always go back to communication, communicate yes. with the person, whether they are new or they are old. Call them. Yes. We are going on a date. How much do you want to spend? What are we going to do? It, and get everything before you go on a date and you can avoid maybe overspending maybe you plan to spend mm. thousand rings you're not spending five so it all goes back to communicating what are you talking to your partner yes love it i love it i love it um the next thing is just basically related to the finance part of the relationship um most people do not generally do not like to talk about finances it could be friendships relationships families we don't want to talk about how much money we make we don't want to talk about how much money we spend and we just don't want to talk about how we can grow our finances or our businesses or whatever we just don't want to talk about money um do you think finance and talking about finance is still a taboo in relationships do people still avoid it um and maybe if so, how have you navigated around that with your partner? And is there maybe something that you can share with our viewers that can help a couple out there? Okay, so what I can say is that's true. Uh, finances are a very big problem in a relationship. Sometimes you can you can start very well with your with your with your husband or let me say with your with your partner you can start very well but when it comes to finances and when you have difficulties one maybe experiences financial problems or both of you uh, things get to get sour in a relationship even if you really don't mm -hmm. want to cheat you end up cheating because you want money and even if you don't want to do this you end up doing wrong things because you just want money and run away from this mm -hmm. but uh, what I can mm -hmm. say is uh, many people may not agree with this but this is what I do we share with what what I have is what my my husband also has that's what we share if we have five thousand grains I'll talk I, I, I'll take it we put it on the table I don't give it to my husband no we plan with the finances that we have and then we say, okay, fine, yeah. guy, this is the money that we have. And this is how we are going to distribute it. If we need to start a business, if we need to, to, to invest it, then let it come from the 5,000. But knowing that both parties are covered. So just to be, just to be, just to be straightforward, finances also plays a big role when it comes to men. If a guy doesn't have money in a relationship, he feels insecure. So just to avoid some of the things, I bring whatever my husband has, I also bring what I have. We put it on the table. We plan with the money that we have. Okay, this is what we are investing. This is what we are starting. This is what we are doing. And this is what we are spending. So everything else is on the paper. Again, I always come this. Draw a budget if you need to. And always communicate. When we have 5,000, don't yes. take it and put it in your bank and say it will grow from the bank. I alone, I'll do it. It's for me. No. It comes to the point of communication. Everything in a relationship must be communicated. Bring what you have. Yes. If you don't want to bring all, mm. bring what you have. Put it on the table and say, guy, come, let's talk. And sit down and talk about yes. it. And don't do phone calls or don't do WhatsApp. Confuses things. So what I can say is bring everything on the table and talk about your finances. It's very important. Yes. It's very important. Yes. Yeah. And I think it also allows you guys to grow as a couple. I love what you said about um, when you guys are married, you... So, so you're Christian. So the Bible says when you get married, you'll become one, right? Yes. And I actually had a conversation with one of my friends the other day and we were talking about how exactly what you're saying now, Wuti, because you guys are now married and he's now your husband and you're his wife, it means whatever you have, he has. And whatever he has, you have. And only then does it make more sense for you guys to actually sit down and watch it. It's exactly what you're saying. So sit down, bring whatever you have on the table. He brings whatever he has on the table and you guys start building from there. Yes. And I love how... Mm, Mm. And I love how you're saying, as a couple, you must build a budget. Look, sit down and draw a budget. I need you used to do it on yes. your own. It's the same thing you yes. guys must do, so that finances do not become a problem. 
I love that. It's very true. I love that. Mm, I love that. Um, I think we're coming towards the end of the show. See, now I'm saying show. Towards the end of our, our conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what I want to say is, um, given a platform to share your opinion, to share your wisdom, to share some tips with young couples, um, I want to talk more about young couples who are stepping into marriage like yourself um, and young married couples, because I think you will relate better to that. Um, what tips or like knowledge that you can actually share with them that they can use to actually grow their relationship be better partners because I think that's also very important um, as individuals. You must be good yourself and so that you'll be able to be a better partner. What type of tips would you, would you be able to give my viewers today? Okay. All right. So I'll start with this one. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say people, guys, we do have a background. Everyone has a background, whether it's good or yeah. it's bad. Some things happened mm. in our childhood, and then as we are growing, especially black communicate, uh, communi uh, community, we don't talk about these mm. things. And I, yeah. I would say before, you can think about a relationship or any, to be in any courtship, any marriage, mm. please solve anything that you may think affected you in your childhood. It can be your mother so, being a single parent, it can be your father leaving, it can be abuse, it can be anything, whatever you think you, you, you still bitter about it, about your childhood deal with it because let me tell you something it plays a big role in your marriage it makes you a bitter mm -hmm. mother it makes you a bitter father it makes you an abusive mother or an abusive partner so deal with whatever mm -hmm. it can be very small don't overlook it it's big so whatever yeah. it is that you've dealt with in your childhood that you think like maybe this thing is pulling me back visit it again and talk to someone talk to someone else go to a stranger vent to them about whatever is bothering you and accept things if you can't change what happened in your childhood accept yes. just accept and move yes. on so that you can give your children mm. a better life and be a good wife or be a good husband to your partner and i will, yes. I will say this again i'm one one person who believes in marriage and I've, when mm. growing up, I've heard stories about marriage. Your marriage is like this slavery. It's about this, about this. But I just had mm -hmm. a different me mentality about marriage. Marriage is good. It's mm. how you as a person makes it. Don't take make people's it, yes. advices about me. No, no, no. Social media is lying. Don't take anything from social media and put it in your relationship. Work it out mm. yourself. Find if, yes. if you're getting relation, if you're getting advices online. Don't take that advice straight and put it in a relationship. Evaluate it yourself and say, you know what? Yes. Exactly. Put it in your mind first and see if it's going to come to work individually before you put it in your relationship. Because the people that yes. are giving us advices online, it's either they are bitter, they are going through a rough page in their marriage, and you never know. Guys, I mean, people are different. Again, I'm saying this. People are different. What works in my yes. marriage will not work in yours. But I can give you yes. advices to say, you know what? If you're going through this, you can do this. But again, it can ruin your marriage. My advice can ruin yours. So before you can take all these things on social network, before you can go and blab about your problems on social network, just first deal with your marriage in your own terms, you and your partner. Yes. Create rules. Yes. This is what you're going to do with our relationship. And yes. I can also say, uh, don't believe whatever you see on social network. Other people are happy on social media, but in real life, guys, they are crying, they are being abused. That's when we end up seeing people being bitter, being aggressive, and people dying. People are lying on social network. Do not ever compare your relationship with what you see on social network. It's a lie. I know I do have friends that lie on social network, yeah, just to make people believe that uh, they're in a happy environment, but we know there are mm -hmm. problems deep down that yes. even now they're not sleeping in the same room with their husbands or their wives. So don't believe everything you saw on social network. I really don't mm. advise you to do that. Please don't be fooled. Yeah. This is the time where mm. social network is doing all the funny things. And I'm saying don't be a, a victim in all this. Just move away from yes. social network. Live your own life. Live your own reality. That's the, that's the only yes. thing you can do. And in your own terms. Yeah. I love how you said it must be in your own terms. And if, it, if you have a partner, it must be in your guys' yes. terms and do what works for yes. you. Yes. I love that. I yes. love that. I love that. Do you have yes. anything else you would like yes. to add? 
Ah, uh, basically that's uh, that's everything. That's everything. Live your life, guys. Uh, life is short. Uh, life is short. Uh, make the yeah. most out of out of it. Love people. And uh, one thing that I can say is never underestimate the power of association, guys. Relationships they matter the most. The people that you meet in your life, whether they are family or they are what treasure those yeah. people you don't know what will come out of those relationships so uh, what i can say That's is okay. whatever it is just love people just love when you die you're gonna die every person i mean imagine dying with <laughs> bitterness in your heart you this imagine imagine let loose and live live some people are dead guys um, the wish they will be alive so just live your life mm. be free love people but never ever ruin relationships the people that you meet in this life they matter a lot you can you may not see yeah. it with your two eyes but they do matter one person here mm -hmm. on the life can actually give you a job can elevate you to the next level of your life so never underestimate yeah. relationship take care of them i know life is saying uh uh, uh, uh uh shut yourself uh, if someone is not talking you block you delete you it's okay but don't overdo it because you might miss the person who can help you in this life that is so true. That is so true. I think what I want to add on that um, block and delete is that know the difference between people who are toxic in your world and people yes. who are actually yeah. there for you. Um, because that's yes. very important. Yes. 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 Very true. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Lyra. Um, happy Women's Day. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your day and I hope you will continue to enjoy the rest of your day. Um, thank you so much. Um, I'm very honored that you actually allowed us to have you as our first interview. Um, and I think it's very important um, that we discuss such matters, you know, because we are young and unfortunately there's no manual for marriage. There's no manual for relationships. Um, and it's exactly what she said. We have to live life in our terms sometimes it's hard sometimes it's easy and it's smooth sailing but it's exactly what she said do everything in your terms and do what works for you yes. don't always follow what everyone is doing sometimes it can work for you which is why you know you must take it with a pinch of salt but always understand that people are different and what works for me may not necessarily work for you um yeah thank you so much for for joining us today um it's been absolutely an honor and it's been absolutely a pleasure having you i'm hoping we'll have you again you know maybe next year as you know mrs <laughs> Watcher, but, and you'll be walking us through like your first year of marriage <laughs> um yeah thank you so much um enjoy the rest of your day all right thank you so much Nomti, for inviting me uh thank you so much i'm honored uh i'm honored thank you as young as i am it's, it's a pleasure to, to 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 engage with young people as me young women and yeah uh, thank you so much thank you it's not it's not it's not uh something that i enjoy or uh, that i play with but it's just an honor thank you so much awesomeness awesomeness so it's goodbye guys don't forget to like share and yes subscribe <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, bye.